Welcome to Agenda Edina, a program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. During the wettest 12-month period on record since the 1800s, neighbors near Highlands Park reported flooding there. Now the city is studying the issue. The water is typically housed in the park area, but with all the rain we've had this year, they're seeing their backyards wet. And, and when I say wet, they are underwater. Residents filed a petition asking the city to address the park flooding. The Pacific person that submitted the petition lives right, backs right up to the park. And in that park property is a, uh, a mulch trail that would come from the neighborhood down a set of steps that were built through the park to access the park proper, Highlands Park. And that is completely underwater right now. There's some washout concerns around those stairs that come down. In response, the city hired Bar Engineering to study surface and groundwater interactions to determine how water levels respond to various weather conditions and to develop options and estimates that might address the issue. The study is expected to be complete by April 2020. City staff is working to scope a process for creating a climate action plan for Edina. The Energy and Environment Commission recently completed a study and report on a timeline and parameters for such a plan, including city leadership's role. The Vision Edina process uh, went forward and we got the values of our community. Participants in that process were more supportive of environmentally responsible practices than any other area. So this is something our community um, really cares strongly about. To date, most of what has been done has been internal to city operations. Staff continues to make city facilities more energy efficient, integrate sustainability into decision-making processes, and create a plan to reduce fleet emissions. Right now, staff is looking at how do we best engage the community to start an action plan so we ensure that we're prioritizing what the community values and it presents benefits to all. This work includes reviewing current data, solidifying goals, prioritizing actions, and defining measurements. Cities locally and across the world have found climate action plans to be an effective way to address climate change. For years, the City of Edina has offered a program to help extend the possibility of living in Edina to more people. Edina TV has the details on how this program is helping people come home to Edina. People have said that without this program, they would not have been able to buy their home. A variety of families have made Edina home thanks to a below market rate loan program. I'd been renting in Edina for probably the past 10 years or so. And then uh, when I met my fiance, uh, had a stepson involved, we knew we had to get a bigger place, but then we had a limited budget as well. The Come Home to Edina Second Mortgage Program has a very simple mission. The Come Home to Edina Program is a second mortgage program that allows folks to be able to afford buying a house in Edina. And it was my, our mortgage person that said, had you heard of this program, Come Home to Edina? And we hadn't at that point. It turned out to be a really good fit for us. Like Dan and his family, the program seems to be a good fit for a lot of people. It has been used for single family homes, it has been used for condominiums, it has been used for townhomes. Hunting for a new home can be stressful enough. Add in the mortgage process and it can get overwhelming. But Dan had a different experience thanks to the city of Edina. They were very friendly, um, very um, excited to share the opportunity and uh, what, what it can offer. Um, and uh, we were, I was right in that niche, uh, income wise, and when we were looking, so it just was a perfect fit for us. And what are the benefits to the city of Edina? A healthy, vibrant community is created of people of all income strata. And this program helps create a diversity of incomes within Edina by allowing those who have more moderate means to be able to take advantage of our great schools, our great economic environment. I think a lot can be said about Adina. I think, I think the city and uh, the community, they put a lot of effort into uh, different events that uh, really make it an enjoyable experience. Uh, the school system is top notch. Um, we just really enjoy living here. So far, over 100 loans have been closed under the Come Home to Edina program. 
Finally, a reminder about some important upcoming events at the end of this month, including the Not-So-Scary Halloween Party at Edinburgh Park, Friday, October 25th. And a virtual town hall meeting with the Dyna City Council on Facebook from 8 to 9 p.m. Tuesday, October 29th. Thank you for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.